Good afternoon students. Today we will see about microbes in human welfare. Okay. Microbes in household products. So microorganisms such as lactobacillus and other commonly called lactic acid bacteria that is LAB grow in milk and converted into curd. That's already we have studied in the last lesson also. So it is coagulated and the partially digested in the milk proteins only we are formed in the um, Good, okay. It also improves the nutritional quality by increasing vitamin B12 in our stomach to the LAB. What do you mean by LAB? Lactic acidic bacteria. Lactic acid bacteria play a very beneficial role in checking disease causing microbes. The dosa and the itli also fermented by bacteria. The tough, the, which is used for making bread is fermented using bakery yeast. That is Saccharomyces cerevisia. A number of traditional drinks and foods are also made by fermentation by the microbes. Toddy, a traditional drink of some parts of the southern India made by fermenting sap from palms. Okay. Microbes are also used to fermented fish, soya bean and bamboo shoot to make foods. Cheese is one of the oldest food items in which microbes were used. The large holes in Swiss cheese are due to the production of a large amount of CO2 by a bacterium named Propionobacterium charmani. That the next to the roofer cheese is a ripened by growing a specific fungus on them which give them a particular flavor. In industry, microbes are used to synthesize a number of products valuable to human beings. Beverages and antibiotics are some example protection and industrial scale require growing microbes in very large vessels called fermenters. Next to microbes in industrial product, fermented beverages, microbes like yeast and used for the production of the beverages like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy or rum. The same yeast or where we have to use in that, that Saccharomyces cerevisia used for the bread making also. Commonly this is we called as a brewery yeast. It is used for the fermenting malted cereals and fruit juices to produce ethanol. Wine and bean are uh, produced without distillation whereas whiskey, brandy and rum are produced by the distillation of the fermenter broth. Okay. Next uh, antibiotics. What is antibiotics? Anti is a Greek word that means against uh, and bio means life together. They mean against life in the content of the disease causing organism. In reference to the human being they are pro-life and not against. Alexander Fleming while working as a staphylococcus bacteria once observed this mold growing is one its unwashed culture plates around which a staphylococcus could not grow. So with staphylococcus they are used in that that time it not grow. He found out that it was due to the chemical produced by the mold and he named it penicillin after the mold penicillium notatum. It's a full potential as the effective antibiotic was established by Ernest Stein and Howard Flurry. Okay, the antibiotic was extremely used to treat uh, American soldiers wounded in World War II. That Fleming, Chain and Flurry were awarded the Nobel Prize. So, in the antibiotic, uh, very used for the Second World War. Okay, in the 1945 for this discovery. Chemical enzyme and other bioactive molecule, Aspergillus niger, produce citric acid, Acetobacter, Acetic acid, Clostridium, Butylium, Butyric acid, Lactobacillus, Lactic acid, yeast is the ethanol okay so enzyme like lipase are used in the detergent formulation and helpful in removing oil stain from the laundry and bottle juices pectinase and protease streptokinase produced by the bacterium streptococcus and modified by genetic engineering used as the clot buster for removing clots from the blood vessels of patient who have undergone myocardial infection leading to heart attack cyclopurine a that is used as the immunosuppressing agent in argo transplant patient produced by the fungus trichoderma polyporum strain produced by the yeast monasus have been commercialized as blood cholesterol lowering agents it acts as a competently inhibiting the enzyme response for synthesis of cholesterol so next class we will see the remaining part thank you students